Well, hey there, friends. It's me, your pal, your buddy, Kelly Zemnikas, and this is episode 119 of It'll Be Fine, the socially distant baking food chat show. Look at the hair. I haven't had it cut since August of 2020. It's, it's March. It's fine. It's going to be fine, friends. On today's show, we are doing a little baking bite with Mr. Tom Beeler. Tom was on the show recently to do homemade Uncrustables, and you can check his episode out in the show comments. There's a little link to that. And uh, Tom is back today for a little moment from the original broadcast that you did not see, a little moment I had to cut, where we talk about the surprising turn our comedy careers has taken us. And on today's show, we are offering love, offering attention to the good people at Food Banks Canada. Info on them is also in the show description. So get ready, it's episode 119. It's gonna be fine. It'll be fine, it'll be fine. are going to uh today is uh i think the most hipster episode of fine <laughs> i'm wearing my glasses for this one to add to the mystique and and i have so i feel like uh an unc- i feel like a hipster episode uh, requires uh, a motivational card full of the day oh yeah i, I love just, those wait, tell me when to stop stop okay i'll pick these and i Tell me, uh, we'll count oh. this as one, two, or three. Pick a number. One, two, three. Three. All right. Our mo- motivation today is what great achievement has been performed by the one who told you it couldn't be done? Oh. I feel like that. that's a loaded one. <laughs> um, that's like... Uh, who told you you couldn't do it and you did it anyway? Um, My seventh grade bully. Oh, really? What what did your seventh grade bully do? An asshole. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, his challenge was to not be an asshole and he failed. Um, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Um, I feel like um, in general, there have been a few people in my life uh, who were skeptical about the whole pursuing art and pursuing acting and performing that sort of thing. And while it's not my full-time gig, I feel really satisfied with where I am with it right now. So I think that's, that goal's been achieved. (laughs) Yeah, no, me too. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I did not, uh, see doing stand up in my future, even though I have loved it since I was a kid. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. I, I never, all the times I was a tech in like improv and comedy clubs in Toronto, never, never thought I'd be the one going on stage. I was just always setting up the mic. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, I don't know why stand up specifically never crossed my mind as I pursued other things um I think part of like why I like theater and why I like improv and that kind of stuff is you know the community that comes with it so like having that bond with your cast um but yeah the stand-up definitely like was one of the first things that came to mind when all the pandemic-y things hit um, cause it's such an independent, like self-sustaining yeah. art form. You just need to talk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're, you're like the one dude on the sailboat, you know, there's no one yeah. else. No one else is man in the ship. It's just you. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of fun. And it brought us together. Yeah. Week. No, I mean, now that I've been pursuing it, I definitely like it. And when things open back up now, I'm probably going to pursue that uh, a little bit more closely I also think that um this time has been good to like realize you know I I think I needed a break from theater for a little bit because I just closed a show 
And I did one like virtual show in quarantine that was like, uh, it was an adaptation of the Decameron. So very appropriate um, Mm -hmm. because it was written during its own pandemic. But um, this time has definitely shown me that like, I actually really like um, doing my own stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Being able to like control the content and my own branding sort of thing. Totally. Um, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's really satisfying. I love, I love doing my own thing. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah. Money is good too, but I like doing my own thing. <laughs> yeah. Money's good, but, oh, that's always lacking in the arts. So. <laughs> yes, I know. It'll be fine.